Hi guys, great day. This is Ryan and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a very simple and quick tutorial on how to schedule a Zoom meeting. So first, we have to go to our Zoom app. So right here on my phone, it's in uh, here and uh, right there. Then we're gonna start. As you can see, as you are in the interface right now of Zoom, there's a kind of like a calendar uh, button on the upper right portion of your screen and it says schedule what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna tap on that and then we have here now the uh, editable uh, scheduler first thing is we're gonna have our uh, our meeting title so a sample of um, board meeting meeting so board meeting and then what we're gonna do is you put the date on which we will start example today is September 18 I'm just gonna set it to that from let's say uh, we're gonna start at 6 p.m. here and then we're gonna end at about 9 uh, no no 7 30 so the meeting now you have set your schedule time zone is in Philippines because we're in the Philippines now if you want this mess uh, this meeting to be a recurring meeting you press this repeat repeat uh, button right there so is it every day every week every two weeks every month let's say uh, our board meeting for our uh, company is like every month I have to put that there so you say and repeat no anyway let's do let's do this after that we're gonna have something here in the security which is really really very important I think you can put for those who have not uh, you, for those who don't have the link directly you have to put the option that you would require a meeting passcode so that everyone who wants to enter in that meeting you will require them this passcode for example for this meeting we have a uh, passcode is 299774 also after that you know we, we don't want people to just go in and dive in directly to our meetings right that's why we have to enable this our waiting room enable our waiting room you click that right there now we have here options for the meeting if you want the moment the meeting starts if you want your video to be on host video on if you're the host you have to click that again and then participant video on if you want the participants video to be on the moment you start the meeting so I think we have that on some audio options is it device audio telephone telephone and device audio third-party audio I think we're just gonna use the default which is device audio so that's good to go we have your advanced options so allow join before host uh, this is when uh, all the meeting uh, all the meeting joiners will, will, will be will be can join the meeting before the host comes in so if you want that to happen then you have to uh, press this button but if you don't want that to happen you don't have to press that anyway we don't want them to start the meeting but we want that uh, the host or we ourselves will be able to start the meeting before they come in and the next is allow join meeting everyone and then if you want like for example you you are now are now in a zoom pro account you can automatically record the meeting so right there if i want to record the meeting or not recording location is it a cloud or is it your local computer local computers is what I choose because it will automatically record the meeting on your device or on your computer the moment the meeting start and then add to calendar now after all of this stuff here we press done now it's scheduling the meeting and then we can now add invite so uh, it on default like for example in this uh, zoom app right here from uh, Google uh, from Android for Android phones it automatically links you to your Gmail to your PayPal so 
we can click that for example uh, we want to just uh, for for the sake of trying it we want to try sending sending it so invite and uh, let's try gmail and so I'm gonna invite somebody I think I'm gonna invite my other account so where is inviting you to a scheduled so a board meeting you have to invite them all right so it clicks the invitation we also have other invite options right here so messenger messages copy to clipboard email paypal and all of those stuff usually whenever i do this i just copy it to clipboard and i send it to everyone now after that we're gonna get back to our main screen for zoom as you can see when you come here and press meetings it will show you that the meeting already shows up so we also have the recurring meetings that I've scheduled right here, down here. And also that meeting that we have just scheduled. Anyway, that's very easy to do. But we want to do a tutorial for those who want to start their own meeting using Zoom and scheduling it. So thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. This is a very simple tutorial which will help you as you start your zoom journey thank you very much this is ryan the best is coming great day guys